Welcome to Build the Press Channel. Hi, I'm Laura. I'm Anni. And you have probably noticed that uh, this is uh, my new backup Anni. The main Anni is a bit busy and bored with YouTube. She is not so interested anymore that she wants to be on every video. But luckily we have backup Anni here with us. Very nice, very nice. You can also call him Himan if, if you want. <laughs> if you want. And today we have interesting high speed video. We use it all of our money on Philips Hue lights. These are the fancy lights that can change the color. And these are also called uh, RGB lights. And that comes from red, green and blue. And those are only colors that these can make. But they seem to have a lot more colors. How that's done? They are cheating lights. They don't have any other colors. And we are going to use our high speed camera to figure out how they seem to have more lights than three. Because I think they sell these, like how many millions of colors this should be. Lots, lots of colors. Many millions of colors, but only three in reality. How it's done is cheating. So, here we go. Okay, now we are going through the colors, all the 16 million different colors that we should have. And as you can see, it works really nicely. But check what happens when I start to uh, increase our shutter speed. Now we have one per 500 and there's some weird waves on the light. Let's go faster. 800, 1000, 1600. Now we have 3200. This goes pretty fast. Now it's one per 8000 seconds. The frame rate and you can already see that there is different colors at the same time. This is actually a really psychedelic thing. And this is because this is not like a global shutter camera. This has a rolling shutter. So this was so complicated that I didn't understand it on first go. So the rolling shutter means that the camera starts to record the one frame from top of the image line by line and it goes down. And when we have one per 8,000 shutter speed, the whole taking the picture thing takes only one 8,000 of a second. So that's really fast. And it only records those 25 frames per second, but each frame is taken really fast. And then it waits a long time before the next one. And even at that speed, the uh, Hue light turns on and off multiple times. So each of those colored lines is the light turning on and then off. The black line is when it's off. And during when it's on, it emits like multiple different colors. And of course your eye cannot see this. It just adds everything together and makes average out of that. And that's how they can get like millions of different colors by mixing like those three main colors together and then your eyes think that there's a lot of different colors even if there is not. You don't re really even need high speed camera to show the effect but it, I think it's more like uh, easier to get real hang of how it works. This is a bit hard to understand if you are not familiar with the cameras. <laughs> yeah, this is really nice. I didn't even thought about having this kind of effect here. Hey, we have to try the LED strip also with this. This is so nice. Okay, here they are together. The LED strip, it, it's almost the same thing. I think the LEDs are on bit different locations there. You can see where the colors are placed inside of the strip. And I think we have to also pop one of those light bulbs open and see, see it without the like white cover also. Okay, time to uh, try with the high speed camera. Okay, now it's orange, so it's not red, green or blue, so it should do something different. And the fact that we have to uh, use so fast shutter speed, 1 per 8000, so 1 8000 of a second. That says that we have to go at least 8,000 frames per second on the high-speed camera. 
So I'm going to go fast as hell. Let's see how fast this can go even. I'm using Kronos 2.1. Okay, let's try 20,000 frames per second. And here is the end result. Played out 30 frames per second. Too fast. Okay, hey, no, hey. <laughs> so it's uh, first it's like white. I think it has all on because it's white. Then it's red. And then it's black. Hey, I think I think uh, we have the situation where I don't have any idea what we are doing. You can explain on the comments how this works. We are just here to record this. Yeah, but it does this. I think we are going to uh, now try different colors also. Okay, how about this color? Let's have a look. I think we have good settings on the high speed. I go again like frame by frame. It's weird because this looks almost like the real color. And then it goes blue and then black. Okay, and I realize it that the way to see how this works is of course to open it. And don't try this at home, this is not probably any more safe after we have like modified it slightly. Oh, there is a lot of things going on here. Yeah, let's hook it back up and not touch it while it's on. That's important. Okay, it's really, really bright now, not very good anymore. And now we can activate the different LEDs. Okay, there is red. Yeah, there is clearly red LEDs, how about green? Yeah, there is green and I'm not sure is there like middle art, the colored ones and then there is like white ones around. And this is blue. Okay, time to uh, go crazy with the shutter speed. Okay, here is the crazy shutter speed experiment. Uh, okay, now it's really hard to say what the hell is going on. I put this to 100 frames per second and then we can slow things down. Okay, now I'm playing it out to 25 frames per second, so you have a better idea what is going on than I am. As like probably the whole, during the whole video. <laughs> we don't have any idea. Yeah, I think we don't learn anything from this. Let's try with the high speed. Okay, uh, let's try some combination color. So now it should be red and blue. And then the high speed. Okay, and this is really hard to focus. But here we go, 20,000 frames per second. Stop and play. Okay, so I thought first that it's going to like put them one at a time on. But it seems that it turns them on at the like same time and then they are on for X amount of time. And the ratio between those times is the color that's going to make. I think now we learned how they're making it. Okay, let's try one more color. Now it's yellow. So it, it turns everything on at the same time. Blam, bam. And then it shuts them off one by one. And the result is color X. Okay, I think we maybe know how it works. I wouldn't write essay about it. I think we are not there yet, but some idea. And I have to say that uh, these are more like high end product than I thought. I have never seen any light flicker so fast. I thought that this is going to be like 200 Hertz or something like that, but it's like 10,000. So way, way, way faster than I thought. And it would be interesting to maybe do part two where we try cheaper lights and see if they're like any slower. Because I have heard that at least like 100 Hertz flicker from like 
regular lights that can irritate somebody, but I cannot see how 10,000 frames would like make anybody's head hurt or something like that. It's so fast compared to human eye. It's even fast compared to our cameras. What is Antti your opinion about everything? My opinion is don't cut your lights. Yeah, yeah. It's not healthy for you. Yeah, and these are much uh, more pleasant to like use like this. Mm. It's it hurts your eyes when the LEDs are there. Yeah, I think I'm still blind for the light. Yeah. Hey, if you want to see more uh, Lauri and Antti trying to figure complicated things, press the like button. <laughs> and if yeah. you don't want to see us, press the like button. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, but that is all for today. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.